Hi, my name is Miki Lazar and I'm a CEO of Solrad Technologies. We have developed the Solrad system. The Solrad system, as you will see it shortly, is a system that uh, is able to deliver um, <coughs> thermal energy for, or, uh, for high capacity for several applications. With the Sol, uh, Solrad system, we can develop solar air conditioning solutions, solar water pumping solutions, and solar desanalization based on thermal energy, and a few other applications that are using the thermal energy as the energy to drive the systems um, being used. What we will do now, we will uh, come uh, closer to the system in order to understand a bit more about uh, what is uh, the system being compound of, what are the capacities, what are the usages and so on. So the solar system is six meters length and four and a half meters mirror uh, land. The capacity of the system is about 25,000 calories per hour, heating 1,000 liters by about 28 degrees per hour, delta T. And in a day of, um, of uh, um, operation, the system can provide up to 250,000 kilocalories. That means that four systems will provide one million, uh, one million kilocalorie per day, with several systems connected into one uh, one operational plant. We can power um, several applications based on thermal energy. Here we do not uh, provide electricity, but only thermal energy. The thermal energy can can be used, uh, can be transformed in steam, uh, steam that uh, is provided between 150 and 180 degrees. And <coughs> um, these systems can power micro turbines that uh, will drive uh, water pumping uh, stations. Um, these systems can provide the energy to operate micro turbines for electricity for remote areas. And um, beside the other applications that we have, we can power absorption chillers that will provide cooling, um, cooling um, solutions for various uh, applications like uh, solar air conditioning, like uh, solar cooling for cold storages, uh, like for dairy products and so on. Also, the uh, thermal energy produced by the solar system is able to provide us the energy that we need for desalinization based on thermal uh, processes. And uh, this system, in an overall approach, overall concept, can provide a significant alternative for electricity used for the applications that I just mentioned. Of course, that if we drive these applications by thermal energy, we reduce significantly the electricity needed for these applications. And by doing so, we can address the challenges in uh, areas where electricity is a challenge. Okay, what you see here are the two legs, the white legs on which the system rely when uh, installed. The system tracks the sun on one axis from east to south to west on one axis and actually when uh, the system is installed, uh, finally installed, the middle of the receiver that you can see there relies on the legs and um, with the uh, small electric motor that uh, rotates the, the solar mirrors um, <coughs> from um, from one side to another, rolling 15 degrees per hour, 
and uh, within a day the system uh, rolls over to 160 degrees. During the night the mirrors are facing down and in some cases we have uh, uh, some applications that are dealing with maintenance and cleaning of the system while uh, they are facing down. Okay, what we have here, we have the uh, monitoring system that monitors the site uh, that we are operating. At each site we will have a uh, monitoring and uh, control system to which we will have the information what the system is providing, what, uh, what is the capacity, what is the performance at any moment. And uh, for each site we have uh, this uh, monitoring system. It's one system for the whatever number of uh, units are there and um, okay as a summary we can uh, see here the solar system under construction this site is an, a site which is being constructed during uh, these days it is especially filmed in a location where you can see things uh, as a being done and not just a marketing uh, demonstration this is real and uh, for the further details will be provided to whoever um, wants to know more about the SOLRAD solution please uh, contact the person that sent you the link to see this video and I'd like to thank you very much for your attention